guys, so I did a video like this or multiple videos like this many, many years ago. So I am all about hashtag no excuses. So I'm wearing, as you can see, I have my knee braces on. I just finished doing a leg workout, but I'm keeping one on because I want you guys to pretend like I have something wrong with this knee. So I got inspired because I have a client that's injured um, and I've had clients throughout the years. Like I had one client that works in a police station. She was wrestling with somebody and they fell on top of her. She had to get knee surgery. So that's the first, th actually that's the second thing. I had another client when I was a trainer over in New York Sports Club that had a double hip replacement. She never, she lost 40 pounds with me, never stepped on a pre-core, treadmill, stairs, anything. We trained all upper body and we did all upper body cardio. So there's a machine at the gym, uh, at some gyms, that's an arm machine, it's like a physical therapy exercise. However, you could do it as arm cardio. Granted, you do have to push a little bit harder because it's a lot harder to get your heart rates up high enough. However, it's possible. So, I am going to go over a little circuit uh, that I went over just recently with a client that has a hamstring issue. So it just re-inspired me to make another video for you guys in reference to finding a way to do cardio if you cannot get on the treadmill, pre-core, um, or stairs. So um, ropes are super cheap on Amazon. Now, obviously we're in my gym, but I have uh, ropes at my house. All you gotta do is look, go on Amazon and look for the lightest and shortest one and you can wrap it around something, maybe in a garage. My living room, I have a gym. Um, and I have it wrapped around multiple times around a dumbbell rack. So right now I have it attached to a dumbbell, I'm in my gym. So you can also do this without battle ropes and you can kind of like mimic like you're doing battle ropes with tubes. So what I find also is it keeps cardio interesting. So whether you're injured or not, you could do stuff like this. I'm gonna do everything seated and then again, pretending like I just had knee surgery, I got a full brace on my leg. Um, I used to go over to 24 Hour Fitness and this was eight years ago when my client first got injured and I would see my client on the row machine with what I told her to do, a furniture mover that you could buy at Home Depot or of course you could buy everything on Amazon. So, um, and she still to this day does it because she loves it. Um, it's great, great cardio. Now, when you would do HIIT or high intensity interval cardio, which is what we're gonna do here, you could do it on a piece of equipment or you can do it here, where you wanna go all out, 15, 20 tops, 30 seconds, and then you can stop for 10 to 15 seconds and then go at it again, or you could just move over to the next exercise. So what I did was, I made a little list of things so there's many different things that you can do with the ropes. So I'm sitting down, pretending I have this leg issue. So you can do alternating whips. You might want to move a little bit closer. So you can do alternating whips, go as hard as you possibly can. Double, circles, circles in, laterals, sorry. And then you stop. What you can also do is stop for 10 seconds and then pick it up and go at it again or you can move, move over to exercise number two, which is a ball, which I'm gonna grab my ball real quick. Uh, you wanna get a ball that doesn't, like it's not a medicine ball, it's a sand ball, so when you slam it, it doesn't come back at you. So, and you slam as hard as you can. This one's kinda light, so, but you can find any one of these sand balls anywhere, okay? Play it against sports, Amazon again. So then I have my tube connected here. If you have one injured leg, what you wanna do if you're gonna stand, all the pressure is gonna be on the front leg when you're pressing. So you can do it like this or like this, but you're gonna simulate like you're punching. Okay, actually all the pressure is on the back leg. So you want the injured leg forward. When you're turning around and you're gonna do rowing or alternating rowing, all the pressure is again on the back leg, so you're gonna put the front leg forward. Or you can do both of these exercises sitting down. You can also pretend like the tube is a rope. So if you don't have a rope, you can do alternating whips like this. 
So I don't want any plates to fall, but I'm gonna go like this. So this is a medium tension tube. They have really thin ones. It doesn't have to be very heavy. So you can basically do alternating whips like this, side like this, you can crisscross over, you can do. So just making sure that there's a little bit of tension. Again, 30 seconds, give yourself a little bit of a break. So now I've done rope, ball slams, tube, and you can flip flop, two punches, turn around, two rows. And then I'm gonna go over to the row machine. So I'm gonna put, this is the injured leg, I'm gonna put this foot on the disc. And I'm gonna put this foot inside the row machine. And here is how you can make it interesting. You can stay on this machine for 20 minutes, okay? After, let's say you're done doing the circuit, or you can add like five minute intervals on here. How you make it interesting is switching your hands, okay? So look, you can see how my leg, and I'll actually switch it, just so you guys can see. So you pull, you get the palms down, maybe you count to 20, then you flip, and you pull with the palms up, you count to 20. You grab it, fingers like this, and you do a single arm. You count to 20, then you switch again, and you count to 20, okay? Now, just so you can see, I'm gonna switch feet so you can see my leg moving. So, I'm just laying this leg here, and it's not doing anything. So, go back to this. That's it. You know, it's just chilling here, and picture, a big, huge brace, like Terminator brace. That's what I would walk into the gym to see. So uh, there's different tensions on the row machines also. And then also if your gym, like a lot of 24 hour fitness gyms, they do have that arm machine. So I've done a couple videos. If you go to my, if you're on my channel, which this video I'm gonna post on a couple different things. But if you're on my channel and you go to like eight, nine years ago, I did a video in the UFC gym and I'm doing the arm machine, and I did the same thing here. So I would go forward for 20, then back for 20, then single arm, then single arm, single arm, and then single arm. And you can add different resistance. So there's a million ways. Don't get discouraged. If you are injured, if you are hurt, if you don't have access to a piece of equipment, and you wanna be able to do cardio, you gotta find, I actually, and I actually said this to a client that was feeling a little bit down about it, and I said to them, if I get injured, ultimately I'm like inspired. Hey, what can I do to find a different way to work around it? Because I'm sure somebody else in the world is going through the same thing, and then boom, it inspires me to do a video. So look, this is long overdue. Um, again, you can go to my, go to the beginning. If you actually go to the channel and you view uh, videos oldest to newest instead of newest to oldest, you can see a lot of my older videos and you can see some of those videos. There's a whole bunch of uh, cardio videos, ab videos, uh, core videos, uh, so much stuff. Um, so I hope you guys like this. Get creative, go to Amazon, buy a couple tubes. You don't have to get a heavy one. I say get a light and a medium any resistance tube you can look up. Um, get a slam ball. Uh, you, I, I say five, 10 pounds at least. Um, get a battle rope if you have the room for it. Um, and then if you go to a gym and you have access to this. And sit down if you have a knee problem, hip problem, or ankle problem. And that was another thing. One of my clients is a nurse. She twisted her ankle literally the week before the other client hurt her hamstring. So uh, that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Hope you are motivated now. Um, and 